Hello, my name is Kevin Anderson, one of the clinical education coordinators here at Healthmark Industries. And for this video, we wanted to show you how to use what we call the FEST kit. But in case you don't know what the acronym is, it's for Flexible Endoscope Sampling Kit. And this is how we're going to perform microbial surveillance for flexible endoscopes. Before we get started, we want to make sure uh, to mention that you will need the appropriate PPE for this and it's going to be a two-person procedure to perform this sampling. And lastly, at the end, you're going to get your specimens ready to send to Nelson Labs. And that's going to be very important how you do that and that you're working with them on this procedure. All right, so before we get started with the sampling procedure, we want to set you up for success with this sample from the get-go. So when you get your box, we want to make sure that we take the DE broth out, put it in the refrigerator, and you're going to have some other things too inside that box. This is going to have to go in the freezer, and these, you're going to have two of these. These are freezer packs. They're going to have to go in the freezer, and these have to be in the freezer for at least eight hours before you collect your sample and send it back to Nelson Labs. All right, one last thing before we get started. We want to make sure if we're doing microbial surveillance testing that we know when to perform this test. This is not going to be like your typical cleaning verification where you do it after manual cleaning and before HLD. This is going to be after your high level disinfection procedure. And before we perform our surveillance testing, we want to prepare our area. So make sure that you have enough space for your endoscope and that you low level disinfect your countertop and that you have that to put uh, your sterile drape on that uh, clean uh, countertop. All right, before we get started with the sampling procedure, it's important remember to have two people. So I have with me a facilitator and I will be the sampler. And we also wanna have our instructions for use handy because we're gonna follow those to a T. Uh, and as we get started, we will we will start with step one of the sampling procedure and show you exactly how that's done. All right, so my facilitator is gonna open an alcohol wipe for me and I'm gonna take it out aseptically. And we're gonna use this to wipe off and disinfect our uh, distal tip of the endoscope. In the next step, we're just gonna open up a 30 ml syringe to our, our sterile field here. For this next step, our facilitator is going to open up our sterile water and we're going to extract 20 ml of sterile water with our syringe. Okay, so now our facilitator had to move to the other side. She's going to take our water that we extracted and I'm going to pr uh, prepare the distal end for when she uh, pushes the sterile water through the endoscope. Okay, so we had our uh, facilitator push the sterile water through the endoscope. Now she's going to draw back on the syringe and push air through the uh, endoscope in order to push the rest of that fluid through into our collection container here. All right, so we collected our sample here and we're just going to cap it and get ready for the next step. All right, we're going to get the next supplies that we need for the following steps. So we're going to get ready our scissors, and the facilitator can open them up for us. Yeah. And we're also going to need our brush to be ready. All right, so for this next step, we're going to introduce our brush into the channel of the endoscope that we're testing. And it's going to be a little bit coiled here. Uh, so we're going to try and make sure that we uncoil it so that it's easy to use for our facilitator because they're going to help us with this uh, part. So I'm going to go ahead and introduce the brush into the channel. And we're just going to get it started for our facilitator and she's going to take over with the handle of the brush as we continue to advance this thing down to our container. Okay, for this next part, we're going to get our container ready 
And our facilitator is going to continue to push our brush through the channel as I present it into our sample cup. Okay, and now you can see the brush coming out the end. You can advance it a little bit more. Okay, and now I'm going to use my scissor that comes in the kit and I'm going to cut it so that it falls into our sample. Just like that. So we cut the distal tip of the brush into our container and our facilitator at this point will uh, retract the rest of the brush handle through the biopsy port where we in inserted it in the beginning. It would go back out that way so as, so as not to contaminate this side of our testing station. All right, so we just got our brush uh, into our sampling kit. We're gonna move on to repeat steps one through nine. And so our facilitator here is gonna help by uh, presenting another alcohol wipe, and we're gonna start from the beginning. Okay, and we're gonna work this over onto our distal tip again, just like the beginning. And she's gonna uh, present another syringe for fluid collection. We're gonna take this, we'll draw up another 20 cc's of sterile water so that we can repeat the flushing method again. And when she's ready, she's going to push through the fluid. And then once she's done with that, she's gonna again flush with another 20 cc's of air to get any remaining fluid out of the endoscope. Excellent. All right, for the next step, we're gonna get our DE broth prepared for our sample. So the facilitator is gonna take off this little seal that's on the DE broth container and present uh, an alcohol wipe for me to cleanse uh, the broth container. And we're just going to wipe this thing down. I'm going top to bottom here. And that way we have it disinfected or low level disinfected. Now we're gonna finish setting up our sample uh, with this DE broth. We're gonna open up the lid and we're gonna empty the entire contents into our sample container. Once we're done with that, we're gonna finish by tightly closing the lid on our, on our container. Okay, so we got our specimen. Now we gotta get it ready to ship. We wanna take it and fill out this label here before we do anything else. Uh, and we wanna keep this very cold for shipping, so we're gonna put it in this fancy blanket that comes with the kit, and we wanna seal it up, so we're gonna put it in this plastic bag. And make sure that you seal this. That part's really important. And before we put it into the box, we're gonna get one of our freezer packs, and we're gonna put this in the bottom of our box, we're gonna take our specimen that we just prepared and put it in this foam that came inside of our shipping container. And we're gonna put one more freezer pack on top of that. Next, we're gonna prepare our lid. We have this fancy indicator that goes on there. Understand this is the top of our lid, this is the bottom. And what we want is this indicator that comes with your kit. We're gonna depress this button. It's got a button activation to it. We're gonna put it, there's a sticky back. We're gonna take the sticky back off and it's gonna stick on this bottom of the lid. Then we have on this top part, we have a slot here for your paperwork, which I'll show you that too real quick. It's gonna look kinda of like this. It's gonna be another paper for you to fill out, but we're gonna put this on top of our specimen so we can make sure it stays cold for shipping. Okay, so we finished packing our specimen for shipment. Uh, one thing you're gonna wanna make sure is that 
you take the tape that's included in the kit, secure your box shut, you're going to have a shipping label, you're going to have a biohazard label, and you're going to have a must ship today label. So it's important when you're done putting all of this together that it goes immediately to your shipping area for immediate uh, shipping to Nelson Labs. One important note before you finish is make sure that you are shipping to Nelson Labs only on Monday through Thursday for overnight shipping and you will be contacted with the results of your test uh, this completes the entire process. Please reach out if you have any further questions or comments regarding the uh, FES kit.